what's up you guys back at it again with another video here in Neek's corner and if you guys remember correctly last week I gave you guys 15 ways to tell if you are in the friend zone or not and as promised this week I'm going to give you guys 15 ways that you can get out of the friend zone now a lot of you you know if you want to know if you're in the friend zone go check out my other video but if you're in the friend zone and you've been in the friend zone for some time now just stay tuned and all your questions will be answered so let's get started the number one the first thing to get out of the friend zone that you do is you accept the fact that you are in the friend zone and don't lie to yourself so by accepting the fact that you're in the friend zone you understand where you are you know where you are you know where you're trying to get out of so if you accept the fact that you're in a friend zone you're basically saying okay i'm here now how do i get out and with that you start to answer a lot of questions for yourself like do i really need to be in a friend zone how would i be if i was not in the friend zone and things of that nature number two you stop feeling sorry for yourself and basically don't be mad because you're in a friend zone don't feel sorry for yourself because you're in a friend zone because in reality you put yourself there i didn't put you in a friend zone it's something you did to me or you something you did that i've seen and i said he deserves to be my friend and in the friend zone so if you are there and you know you're there don't feel sorry for yourself just embrace it and then you are able to move forward Number three, stop calling and texting her so much. And what I mean by this is when you are in a friend zone with a girl or you're trying to get a girl to understand something, first thing you do is you call and you text her way more than you should. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the friend zone, be that friend. Like, text her like you would any of your friends. You know what I'm saying? Don't text her 24-7 you can go you can go a day without texting her calling her if she texts you and calls you that's okay but as far as you you don't have to text her good morning beautiful every time or you know when she texts you you know you just pull it dial it down some basically is what i'm saying don't text her and don't call her too much i mean it's only gonna create problems for you yeah you get what i'm saying you feel me thumbs up if you feel me right now um become more of a challenge make her work for you and what this means basically is anything that is really easy nobody really wants everyone likes a challenge whether they admit admits it or not everyone likes something that they've never had before that's really hard to get because it signifies that if if it took them a long time to get you it's going to take the next person just as long you feel me so you have to make it a, you have to make it a challenge for her coming to get you as simple as that you have to say okay well what 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 do i go you know what i'm saying like don't make yourself available for her quite so often you know because then if you do that she's gonna say well i wonder why he's acting like this and you know if she asks you that you just say i'm just pulling back you know i'm not overstepping my boundaries Give me one second. Three, four. Five. Number five, I think. Whatever, number five. Allow her to miss you. Give her some time to miss you. Give her some time to say, I wonder why he's not texting me. I wonder why he's not calling me. I wonder why we haven't hung out in in a long time give her some time to get that feeling of missing you and what it feels like if she actually was to ever miss you and when you get when she does that that gives her a need a desire to be around you don't now i'm not saying be a douchebag to to shout it but excuse me i'm not saying be a douchebag to shout it but what i am saying is that you should just dial it back some you know give her some time to say i really miss him whether it be as a friend or whether it be as a person or whether it be something as, as something else give her some time to miss you 
I'm just saying. Try it out. See if it works. If it works, let me know in the comments below. Number six. Um, I'm sorry. I'm looking at my computer right now. Number six. You act act like you don't care. And when, you, when I say that, I mean, I'm not saying just be a douchebag. Oh, top. I'm just saying, when she comes and she tells you about, you know, another dude... I mean, whether you care or not, act as though you do not care. Because in the end, it's gonna. She's gonna say, "Well, at first he used to do this, but now he's not caring anymore." And it's gonna. She's gonna try to figure out why don't you care. You know what I'm saying? Why Why don't you? You know? Why don't you care? And that I mean, it's gonna get you far if you start acting like you don't care. Number seven. If as you if you guys remember as I stated in my last video, when a girl gets too comfortable around you, she like she doesn't dress up a lot around you. You have to do the same thing with her. Become way more relaxed than with her. Blah, blah, blah. Become way more relaxed being around her than you already are. What I mean by that is if you're gonna see her, and like you go see her, like, when she when you go to her house and she just have on sweatpants and she has this ponytail in her head that she don't have for the last three days, she's comfortable. You have to do the same thing. When you go to see her, don't put on no jeans. Don't put on your little nice new sneakers that you just bought or the fresh white tee you just bought. Just keep it simple. Basketball shorts, sweatpants, those little slides that y'all be having on or some little rusty tennis shoes or whatever, your little play tennis shoes that you play basketball in, tank top or a sweater, a hoodie or something like that. Be so comfortable that she's going to say, why is he doing this? Most of the time he used to get dressed. And she's going to take notice and then she's going to start changing. Because once she feels like she can be comf like you're comfortable around her just as well as she's comfortable around you, then it's going to change, I promise you. Number seven, I think I was on. Number seven, stop kissing her butt. Stop complimenting her. And stop being so nice. And I mean by this is that... A girl, some, sometimes we do stuff just because we're fishing for comments. Yes, I say I might take this really cute picture of this really cute outfit I was in just because I know I was really cute. I know everybody was complimenting me on my outfit, so I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to post it on the internet. Everybody's going to tell me how cute I was. As simple as that. It's not rocket science. But when she sees you every single day and every time she turns around, the only thing you're saying is, oh gosh, you're so beautiful. Oh gosh, you know. Oh well, let me do this for you. Let me do this for you. Let me do this. You, you have to give her some independence. I'm not saying don't compliment her when she looks really hot. Tell, oh, you look really cute today. Leave it at that. You don't have to. Oh, your hair is really nice. Oh, I like that sweater. Oh, he, I was like, oh, those new shoes. No, you don't have to say that. Some things are better left unsaid. You can't. You can't just ask her. You know, if she needs a ride, don't. I'm not, every time she asks, she calls you, hey, I need some, I need a ride. And you just drop whatever you're doing and you say, okay, stop doing that. In the end, it will be way better for you because then you won't be so stuck on, stuck on her, period. Number eight. Number eight, this is a really big one for some of you guys out there. Stop buying her things, spending money on her, or letting her use you. And I said this because if you, if a girl feels as though, okay, well, he buys me whatever I want, he pays my bills and stuff like that, and there's nothing going on between you guys, you are strictly in her friend zone, She's no, she knows that she can get over you. And in fact, it's really horrible that some people would do this, but a lot of people actually do this. Guys go out and they buy them gifts, they pay their bills, they give them money, stuff like that. Guys, you have to stop doing that. You have to know when it's a cutout point. Like, of course for her birthday, that is fine. Of course for holidays, that is fine. But you have to have a mutual thing where like, okay, you buy her something. for. I'm not saying you should look for gifts, but every other day, like when y'all go to the mall, she's like, oh, can you buy this for me? No. No, you cannot. Don't do it because she knows that at the end of the day, you're her friend and that's what friends do according to her so don't let her use you like that so just stop stop as a whole number nine yeah i think i'm on number nine when i go back over this video hopefully we no number nine 
let her handle her own problems and what i mean by this is you can't save everybody you can't like if people come to you you cannot always be their knight in shining armor as simple as it gets you have to you have to any problem that she created you have to let her be an adult and handle those problems herself you can every time she gets into a little bond with somebody or she meets somebody and she wants you to scare them off no you have to let her start handling her own problems because you're being a crush to her and of course she knows when you're when you're coming to scare people off hey don't talk to her no more this da, 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 you know then that you know that that way she she knows like oh you're serious oh he doesn't he doesn't want me to be all you know you have to let her handle the problems that she has created herself number 10 stop being her girlfriend what i mean by this is don't you don't have to be her best friend you don't have to be her guy best friend get her pointers on other guys no because some people feel that if you are a, somebody's best friend that you have the insight and that means you're going to be close to her and when in reality you're just going to be way farther than her than what you wanted to be don't let don't 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 listen to her about her guy problems cut that off right now if you're if you're that guy right now cut it off don't let her sit here and talk to you about her guy problems because that's a big no no a huge no no just saying don't don't go shopping with her stop the little shopping trips that y'all do you know what i'm saying if she want to go to the mall let her go by herself let her go with somebody else but you you don't do it don't do it I'm just saying, don't do it. And don't and don't hold her purse while she dancing with other people, while she talking to other people. That's not a good look. Number eleven, you have to start telling her no. When I say tell her no, means like once again, don't be a douchebag with all of this stuff that I'm telling you. Take it into insight. You know, take it as insight on how to get out of the friend zone but if you start telling her no that means you have to separate yourself from her and from you and i mean it's gonna help you no matter how much you like her telling her no is really gonna help you in the long run because it's gonna get her attention it's gonna wake her up and it's gonna communicate to her that she's dealing with a man who knows what he's wanting he's not settling for less and that means that she asking you can you she, can, she, can you, you know i don't know whatever she's asking you for i mean if it's something drastic like don't tell her no because she knows that you're like you know what you want you know what i'm saying if she try to hook you up with one of her friends say no if she try to make you you know what i'm saying just say no it's it's okay just say no um number 12 Number 12, the wow, when, when you walk up, when you guys are hanging out and people ask, hey, who that is, you know, tell everybody ahead of time, no, this is just my friend, just like she told everybody, you just her friend, you tell everybody that she's just your friend and you say it in front of her, you say it in front of her, behind her, beside her, to the next to her you know you say it so she can hear you because when she starts saying when you start saying that of course she says it all the time so it feels so she feels nothing when she says it so when you say it, she's gonna look at it she's gonna say this is something new you know and then you start to make her question where she stands with you personally why he why he said like that what I mean, you know, she starts to look at everything through a different perspective. Oh no, she's just my friend. <laughs> you know, nothing serious. But when you do that, you create a room for her to question things. And when people say, "Are you guys together?" You say, 
<laughs> oh no, nah, she's just my friend. You know? She's gonna When did I become your friend, you know? And things get better that way. I'm just saying. Number 13. You become more private and stop telling her your business. And what I mean by that is, just because she's your best friend, listen, you have to create boundaries. Of course, you should tell her about how this girl did you wrong and how you don't trust people and stuff like that. But, stop it. You know, it's some things that you should tell her, just like something she tell you. But you just create this privacy with her. And, you know, she doesn't. She doesn't know about too much what's going on, so she starts to question stuff. Why don't you tell me this? No. Number 14. We're almost done now. Go out on dates and don't tell her about it or the women you go out with. And this goes back to number 13 when I said don't tell her your business. You're basically, you know, being more private about other women. Who cares how much you like her? But if she's going to stick you into this friend zone, you have to be able to say, okay, I know where I'm at. I accept the fact that I'm in the friend zone, so I have to move on. And that means that you have to put your interests somewhere else. And of course, after you do that, everything becomes, you know, everything makes more sense. I mean, I'm not saying, it's, it's not saying that you're doing anything wrong if you go out with a couple of women and you don't tell her. You're just... First of all, you aren't dating her, so you should not feel any kind of ways at all. But, like, you got to remember, she stuck you in a friend zone. She wanted to be your friend, and that's the role you accepted. You accepted the fact that you're in a friend zone, and so does she. And so now you don't have to tell her your whereabouts, who you go out with, or anything. Unless you're trying to make her mad, and then you say, oh, yeah, I got a date tonight. No, we can't hang out. I mean, unless you got real savage. Number. Number 15. Stop following and you take the lead. And what I mean by this is if you let her lead all the time and you let her call the shots and you let her decide things, then of course, naturally, she's going to stick you there. She's going to stick you right there in that little neat old friend zone that she has built for you. Well, you basically built for yourself. You have to tell her what you want to do. Like, don't text them like, hey, you want to do anything today? No. Oh, I was thinking about we go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you want to eat? She says, I don't know. That gives you Well, I got this cool little restaurant she go to. You take the lead. You stop following her. And, of course, everything will follow. And if she's, if she's constantly making decisions for you or constantly leading you and you follow her around like a little puppy dog of course that's where you are you're in the friend zone because she knows that a lot of people that like likes to do that can lead them that can take the i mean not they don't want to do the lead all the time in reality but they want somebody who every now and then comes in and do a simple little lead technique so i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> but you guys that is it that is it so but as always thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it so much don't forget to like the video comment down below subscribe if you haven't subscribed already if you're seeing this video right now and you have not subscribed then do it right now and share with everybody else thank you guys